that is the podium here at La Conca. What a sight. The Paralene carts dominated at Adria. You are looking at an energy cart. One in three split by the Norwegian Martinia Stensone in second place. Congratulations to Andrea Kimi Antonelli from Bologna in northern Italy. Look at the crowd at the bottom of the grandstand at arguably the most beautiful race circuit on the planet. This is La Conca World Circuit celebrating 20 years of operation this year. And there are the energy cart team drivers, Italy, Norway, and the Russian Kirill Kuchkov. Well, we're ready to go with our second final here this afternoon for the OK Junior category. It has been brilliant racing all weekend. We started with 68 drivers. We are down to the final 34. It's a dry circuit. We'll go through the grid for you in just a moment. Already had one Russian on the podium here this afternoon, and we've got a Russian that starts on pole position here in the sunshine for our junior final here at La Conca. We go back to the first round of the series, and Kirill Small was the winner. He starts this one on pole position. He looks good, the Russian for the Swedish Ward Racing Team. But he's got... 33 other drivers that want to take the victory off him this afternoon. This is the WSK Super Master Series here at La Conca Muro La Cese World Circuit. That is the scene. What a tremendous sight this is. Complete with beautiful Italian grid girls. They're not going anywhere despite what you may have seen in other forms of world motorsport. Always a feature of WSK international competition. They split the 34 junior drivers here this afternoon. There is the pole sitter. There is the race one winner, the round one winner, Kirill Small for Ward Racing of Russia, SMP Racing. He won at Adri. He starts this one on pole. Zach O'Sullivan, 325, the Brit for Ricky Flynn Motorsport, three times they have won the world championships. 2014 with Anna Markmed. Lando Norris and also Logan Sargent, 2015, the Junior World Championship, right here at La Conca, this very circuit. There is 355, Omenino do Brasil, the bull. In the CRG starts out of grid number three, alongside the super experienced is Clark Schumacher, who he took to second in the Junior World Championships in 2014. Paul Aron, the Estonian. Rarely out of the top three is the RFM team driver. Starts this one out of grid number five. And Gabriel Mini, Super Masters Series champion. But that was in the mini category. He's been superb in the Paralink cart. Starts this one out of grid number six. Seventh row of the grid is Hadrian David for Olivier Marichel's Cosmic Racing Department. The Frenchman who spent the last few years living in Barcelona in Spain on grid number seven, alongside the German Josh Dufek for the reigning Junior World Championship winning team, Forza Racing by Jamie Croxford. Josh has been super competitive. He had a ragged pre-final. It was like a NASCAR race for Josh in the pre-final, but starts this one out of grid number eight. There's Taylor Barnard from Cromer on the east coast of England, where we understand today it is snowing in the UK. Hello to all our friends, including our friend Nigel Edwards and his wife Sarah. Good friends of the team at WSK Promotion as you look at Tikon Karitanov, also for Forza Racing. Nigel, Sarah, thanks for your messages of support. We understand it's quite cold in England. You should join us down here in southern Italy. Dino Beganovic, the Swede again for Ward Racing. Fastest in his group of qualifying on Friday night. Second quickest overall, Mini took pole in time practice qualifying on Friday night. And that is Georgi Dimitrov, the Bulgarian driving for the 2005 World Cup racing champion, Oliver Oaks, with the brand new Team Oaks for 2018. Oliver winning that title at Braga 2005 with the Gillard Kart team. Alex Catalis, the Greek-Japanese-Singaporean driver, 
spent most of his formative years racing at the KF1 circuit in Singapore over on the equator. Norton Andreasen for Ward Racing has been brilliant. He's gone from being a midfield runner to being a star consistently in the top three this weekend. Didn't have the best run in the pre-final. Starts back on the seventh row of the grid. Watch the Ward Racing pilot from Sweden to come storming through the field. He's on grid number 14. As the grid girls leave the circuit here at Laconca. A beautiful part of the world, only about 10 kilometres from the Adriatic Sea, where, as I say, on a clear day, you can see all the way across to Albania. Only about 15 or 20 kilometres from here is the famous Nardo test ring, owned by Volkswagen these days, where even Captain Slow, James May, in an edition of Top Gear, managed to push a, I think it was a McLaren, up to 200 miles an hour. You probably saw that edition of the world's best motoring show or what once was. Nardo in southern Italy, where Jeremy, James and Richard, they once came here with three supercars and caused a storm in nearby Lecce. So we're ready to go for the junior final here this afternoon. Small on pole, O'Sullivan on the outside of the front row of the grid. The carts are pushed into life and we are ready to race for the second time here this afternoon. The Supermasters Series at La Conca Muro Lecceze World Circuit in southern Italy. Small on pole position. O'Sullivan alongside. Omenino do Brasil. Bortoletto out of three. And then it's Lorenz van Hoppen, Aron, Mini, Adrian David, Josh Dufek, Taylor Barnard, and Tikon Karitanov. Baganovic, Georgi Dimitri from Bulgaria. Catalyst, Andreasen, Maxim Soldatov, Zivnov, Semi Megatuni from Marseille in southern France. Kayaski, Alex Dunn, the Irishman, a day after St. Patrick's Day, a day after he rolled in one of the heats. Starts out at grid number 19 alongside Enzo Trulli who won the Marguti Trophy seven days ago at Lenato. Aman Pizzi, Mertzalmi, Lomko, Kabiro, Rafael Camara, Luca Bosco starting further back than he'd like for the Minetti Motorsport team. Marti, Andre Dupinin and Nikita Bedra and the Russians on the 15th row of the grid. Jetpack, Jack Crawford from Houston, Texas, alongside Federico Cechi, Dmitry Novitsolyov and Dilano Vantov on the final row of the grid. We're ready to go for the junior final over 16 laps, 20 kilometers here at the world's most beautiful kart circuit in Southern Italy. Down through the chicane, where during the following laps, that corner will resemble a rally cross circuit. Be assured they will launch over these ripple strips over the remaining 16 laps. Small in 314. The Russian looks behind him. Look at Paul Aron warming up the Vega tyres, looking to get on with it. Here's Ricky Flynn Motorsport teammate Zach O'Sullivan on the outside of the front row of the grid. There will be fireworks in a few moments' time. They come up to the line. And we go green. O'Sullivan around the outside. Can he do it? One card off in the grass, as is O'Sullivan. Megaton, if it was in the Formula K card, didn't even make it to the first corner on the bitumen. O'Sullivan, what about Paul Aron? They come through the opening few corners. It's the Estonian from grid number five who leads the opening lap. Lorenz van Hoppen in the factory Tony Kart in position number two. A brilliant start by the French driver Hadri and David also in the Cosmic Cut. Small back to P4 in the Ward Racing entry. Then it's Portoletto in the CRG. The Brazilian in P5 looking to make a move on Small. Gabriel Portoletto up into P4 in the CRG. They come across the line. Let's check the order for you. 
Paul Aron, Van Hoppen. There's Hutterby and Darby in P3. Will he make the move up the inside of the Dutchman? Indeed, he does. Hutterby and Darby in the Cosmic goes P2. Bortoletto is fourth. Small back to fifth, then it's Barnard Boganovic. Catalyst Mini, Georgi Dimitrov, the Bulgarian, rounds out the top ten. Up the back straight they go for the second time. The Vega tyres now up to temperature. Over the chicane. Still a little bit nervous that time from Hartley and David. Had to keep the steering wheel straight. Double correction going into the corner. Bortoletto has managed to pull away. Not from Small, that's Taylor Barnard. Mini goes wheel to wheel with Boganovic. Also North and Andreasen coming across the line. Catalyst back in the field. Not a good start from him. Francesco Pizzi, Kayaski, Cabadou Truly, Zach O'Sullivan from the outside of the front row of the grid back in position 19. Oh, a disaster for the Brit. His teammate from Estonia leads. That's Paul Aron, who from the Frenchman a moment ago. Over the ripple strip goes Hartley and David. Launches that cosmic cart. He's thought about making a move on the purple machine. Here comes Bortoletto in P4. One, two, three, four, and five. Pull away from the field. As Gabriel and it's Norton Andreas and Catalyst rounding out the top ten. So Van Hoppen shadows the back of the French driver. Taylor Barnard goes very wide in that Kart Republic chassis. He has been a star of 2018, the early stages. Was racing in the midi category in Britain last year in the Super 1 series. Has come over to WSK International Competition in the junior class in the Kart Republic team and consistently been a front runner. There he is, 305. Mini goes through. He's now ahead of Boganovic and Andreas and Catalyst, Soldatov, Dimitrov, Lomko, Karitanov, Pizzi, Kayaski just outside the top 15. Cabaru, O'Sullivan, Alex Dunn and Enzo Trulli. 20th ahead of his countryman, Little Luca Bosco, driving for the Alessandro Manetti Motorsport team. Taylor Barnard trying to stay in touch with the leaders. They go up the back straight. You just got a glimpse of the abandoned cart of Nikita Bedder in the 350 Paralin from Team Baby Race at the exit of turn number six. Watch into the hairpin. Oh, Van Hoppen! Very close to the back of the Frenchman. Had to dive on the brakes. He'll be slow in the exit. Here comes Bortoletto, the boy from Brazil. Down the inside, goes through into P3. Then Hoppen, that move into the hairpin cost the Dutchman. Half of the entire goes through. He now takes the lead from Paul Aron. Oh, superb from the Cosmic Pilot. Let's not forget it was at this circuit in 2015 where Carol Bash gave Cosmic Kart their first ever world championship. Hathri and David, the Frenchman, now leads the junior final here at La Conca. Aron in second, the Brazilian in P3, then hopping back to fourth. Aron responds. Watch Portoletto from fourth. He's now up the inside of the Frenchman. Here's Van Hoppen's chance. Hadrian David all over the back of Paul Aron. Bortoletto had to go defensive there into turn number three. Who will make the move? Who will blink? No one this time. Paul Aron through the never-ending left-hand complex. More than three Gs in that corner right there. That is possibly the highest grip corner in world motorsport. If they're not on two wheels, their ribs are absolutely aching. More than three G-forces through that left-hander. Now they go down through the chicane into the hairpin. David is close to the back of Paul Aron, who closes the door, but not enough. He goes the Frenchman. Watch Gabriel! The Brazilian now up into P2. Here comes Lorenz van Hoppen. David tries to drive the Brazilian into the grass. O Menino do Brasil, the boy from Brazil in the CRG now leads as Van Hoppen goes off the track. The Dutchman is effectively out. He rejoins in fourth place ahead of the first round winner, Kirill Small. There is grass all over those Vega tyres. He's dropping back through the field. He is not even on your screen as we approach half race distance here at La Conca. 
Gabriel Portoletto in the CRG, the Sao Paulo Super Kid. Can he win here this afternoon? Down into the hairpin. Huntley and David, not quite close enough that time. This is half race distance right here, the third round of the Super Master Series. Here at Laconca, there is a run. We're looking for Van Hoff and he comes across the line in position 11 behind Giorgi Dimitrov from Bulgaria and one spot ahead of Kayaski. Dunn is in 13th. Alex the Irishman ahead of Pizzi Lomko. Catalyst back to 16th as Bedrin, Tufek, Megatunif and Federico Cecchi are our only retirements of this, the final here this afternoon. What a race this is turning out to be. The Brazilian into the hairpin. Comes up the start finish line. Hadri and David looks behind him. There's Kirill Small, the first round winner in P5. Van Hoppen goes through. We just got a glimpse of the Dutchman behind Georgi Dimitrov. It's ragged further back in the field. Lomko Catalyst O'Sullivan from the outside of the front row of the grid was back outside the top 20. He's now in 17th ahead of Kaburu. Bosco has got past Truly. Cut Ethan off and Jetpack Jack Crawford from Houston, Texas in the USA, just outside the top 20. They go down through the chicane, into the hairpin. The yellow flag is going to be out into the first corner. That will give Bortoletto a little bit of breathing space because the Spanish driver, Jose Maria Marti in the factory Tony cart has gone off right there in turn one. The track is now green from this point on. Darby down the inside. Oh, up on two wheels. He gets the job done. Taylor Parnard around the outside. That cosmic car turned into a bicycle for a moment. Bortoletto back to two, P2. Have you ever seen racing as spectacular as that? Very moment right here at Le Conca. Hartley and David almost ended up on his head. You saw the effect of the grip on this circuit. He's slow out of the chicane. Can Gabriel fight back down the inside? Backs out of it. Paul Aron is right there also. Taylor Barnard sensed his opportunity. He's now back in P4 in 304. Watch the replay. Hartley and David up onto two wheels. How spectacular was that? The Frenchman made the move this afternoon. How good is this at Le Conca? Well, Taylor Barnard from Cromer in East England in P3. Will he go down the inside? Backs out of it. Paula Run, the Estonian in lead now for Hunteri and David relatively too early. Come out as Porto Leto goes down the inside in another part of the circuit, I was going to say, because would you believe it, Kai Aski and Zach O'Sullivan, the Ricky Flynn Motorsport teammates, have taken themselves out. Their teammate runs in P3. Taylor Barnard still in fourth, but I'll repeat that. The two Brits, both driving for Ricky Flynn Motorsport at the exit of turn number three, have come to grief together, and they join Bedrin, Dufek, Megotunif, Cechi, Marti as the retirements in this race. Three laps now remaining. It's a battle of four. One driver will miss the podium. Dino Boganovic is back in five. Unless they come to grief, which is more than possible, he will miss out on a win, certainly, and a podium this afternoon. Hadri and David for Cosmic Kart leads. Gabriel Bortoletto for CRG in second. Paul Aron, the Ricky Flynn Motorsport FA Kart in third, gets up under two wheels very slightly. And Taylor Barnard, the Brit, in the Kart Republic chassis, runs P4. Four drivers, three podium spots. One driver will miss out. One driver will win. And at this stage, Hartley and David, the Frenchman, is looking good. Bortoletto closes down into the hairpin. Two laps now remaining. This is the junior final here at La Conca. Oh, Bortoletto's closed right up on the back of the Frenchman. The Estonian, Aron, has dropped off the Brit Barnard back in fourth spot. Under break, wide, massive grip here at the circuit, including at this very corner right there. More than three Gs. 
as Iran starts to slide wide. These Vega tyres are screaming around this circuit, searching for grip. And the cosmic heart of Huffany and David is looking good. Down through the chicane, they go to get the last lap board next time round. What the letto, will he make the move? Huffany and David closes up. Iran in third place watches on. They start the last lap. Bortoletto around the outside. They go three wide down into the first corner. Iran's gone through. Bortoletto back to third. Barnard throws it into turn number two sideways. Bortoletto back to third. If he's not careful, he will miss the podium. Barnard around the outside of the Brazilian in the CRG. Hadri and David. I'm going to call it. I'm going to say Hadri and David will win this race here this afternoon. Iran is too far back. Bortoletto has to worry about Barnard behind him, but it's going to be Hadri and David on the very circuit where Carol Bash gave Cosmic their first ever world championship. Hadri and David rounds the final corner. Bortoletto up the inside for a second. It's a drag race. Here comes Barnard. Hadri and David wins a sensational final here this afternoon. Second, Bortoletto and Paul Aron third by 0.07 of a second. What a sensational race here at La Conca. The WSK Supermasters Series. Hadri and David from France has won a brilliant final here this afternoon. The team run by Olivier Marichel, many a time world champion, including right here at La Conca with Carol Bash. As we take a look at a replay, the highlights of a brilliant final. Negatonif, the French driver, off in the grass, as was O'Sullivan at the very start. And it turned into a battle of three and then a battle of four. Kirill Small did fade. Unfortunately, the first round winner finishes in ninth, gets some points towards his championship battle. Lorenz van Hoppen gave it absolutely everything. Incredible move there by Hunter and David. Up onto two wheels. Bortoletto drove a brilliant race, did the Brazilian. A run briefly into the lead. This was in Bortoletto. Went almost side by side. Lorenz van Hoppen, they dropped off the Dutchman. Adrian David again. This was brilliant racing. They did not touch throughout the entire race. Van Hoppen side by side with the Estonian. Bortoletto down the inside. It looked as though the Brazilian would take the win there for him. It cost Van Hoppen. He did recover to finish 11th. And he took the way to win. Actually, in the end, he won by a full so slightly. It was NASCAR style down the straight. Barnard throwing the Cart Republic around, chassis around as best he could. A brilliant drive for the young Brit. Finishes in P4, certainly in contention for the championship. Checkered flag came out for Hattori and David. Supermaster Series here at Le Conca. That was brilliant. Second place, Gabriel Bortoletto and the Estonian Paul Aron comes home in P3. Barnard Paganovic, Mini, the pole sitter. Looking good for the championship. Second in the first round and sixth here this afternoon. Dimitrov, Andreasen, Kirill Small and Maxim Soldatov rounding out the top ten. Fantastic scenes here at La Conca. We will hear the French national anthem ring out here this afternoon. And it's been some time since that's happened certainly in the junior class. Of course, Anthony Abbas on the podium in recent years. But it is Hadri and David of France who has won. Gabriel Bortoletto from Sao Paulo in second place. And Paul Aron in third. The podium presentation here at La Conca in just a moment.
What a brilliant final that was here this afternoon. Just sensational racing from some of the world's best junior kart racers. We're about to get underway with the podium presentation. Three different nationalities, three different manufacturers. And here we go. Third place from Estonia for Ricky Flynn Motorsport. Let's hear it for Paula Ron. Second place for Team CRG. O Menino do Brasil, the boy from Brazil, Gabriel Bortoleto. The winner of the third round of the WSK Supermaster Series here at La Conca, racing for the Cosmic Racing Department from La France. The winner, Adrian David. The girls to present the trophies. Third place to Paula Ron of Estonia. Second place, the boy from Brazil, Gabriel Bortoleto. The winner from France for the Cosmic Racing Department, Adrian David. as we stand by for the national anthem of France. <laughs> Podium for the junior final here this afternoon. Third place from Estonia, Paula Ron. Second place from Brazil, Gabriel Bortoleto. The winner here this afternoon from France, Adrian David. That is the podium for the junior final, the OK final in just a few moments. This is the WSK Supermaster Series live from La Conca Murolacese World Circuit in Southern Italy.